everyone, this is Tarek from Sugar and Fluff Event Design and here we have Andy from Wedding Collectibles TV and today we're going to show you a nifty way of spicing up a regular date card. This is going to be a really great option for a bachelorette party invite or a bridal shower invite as well and a great opportunity for me to show you that I'm pretty crafty, it's not just Tarek. Let's see. Okay, so I have the first side of the fastener done already as you can see. I, I'm going to do both sides exactly the same so there's no confusion. So what I did is I took a stencil and I cut out the shape that I wanted so I decided to pick these nice circles. The easiest thing to do is to just go to a craft store and buy a punch and you can go ahead and just punch your car sock with it and you get a lot, a very accurate look, a clean finish. So I decide where I want to place my button and poke the holes where you want it so you have a map or a guide later. This is some silk cording that I got from Craft Store as well for ribbon embroidery. And just go ahead and sew your button through. And what kind of shapes can you use if you want to opt for something other than a circle? You know, scrapbooking now, there's so many possibilities. I know I saw a lot of hearts, uh, doves. You can go for something cir circular so you can have the button look like I have here. It's really endless possibilities. Just go and see what's available at your local craft store. You really can't go wrong. Any theme, they'll probably have something that'll match. So once you get your cording through, just go ahead and pull your needle out and you're going to tie a knot. And I always like to have a double knot just to be safe. Now turn your envelope over and you'll be able to see that your button is in place where you want it. Notice I left one of my ends a lot longer than the other because this is going to work as your fastener. Close your envelope and begin to put the figure eight around the buttons and your envelope now has a really cute fastener instead of a normal just glued seal at the end. I hope you enjoyed our tutorial on how to make a fastener for your gate card and it's just another great option on how to dress up your party invitations. For more DIY invitations be sure to check out WeddingCollectibles.com. Bye. Bye.